my loves, it's TJ. Welcome back. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about self-esteem. I'm going to give you five tips on how to get started with boosting your self-esteem. This past week, I already spoke with seven people who told me they were struggling with low self-esteem. Two of those people told me they were not ready to figure out or to learn how to get from underneath that. And if that is you, if you are experiencing that, I will say seek professional help so that you can talk through things and get to the bottom of the underlying issue. Self-esteem happens um, whether you know sometimes through abusive relationships and also our own stinking thinking, that stinking self talk from watching TV and comparing ourselves against other people, social media, all this stuff. So what I want to say, the first thing to get started with getting from up underneath that is show yourself some respect. Okay. By that, I mean, when you look good, you feel good. It is so easy when you're not feeling the greatest to just wear your doom and gloom outfit, whether it's your robe or those doggone sweatpants, those yoga pants, that ratty wife beater, and walking around looking all woe is me and holding your head down, you know, those gloom and doom behaviors and your shoulders are slumped over. No, you hold your head up shoulders back and then put on your best outfit your best suit your favorite shirt your favorite hat your favorite dress even if you're not going anywhere and hey go to the store if you must do something go to the store and be snazzy get dressed spend a few extra minutes in the in the mirror in the bathroom zhuzhing up you know put on your best hair or do your hair like for look i got all my big hair I have on my bright colored headband and I have on my obvious earrings. That's what I call them because what? That's why. And it just gives me a little giggle. I mean, it is about keeping your vibration high. What you radiate out comes back to you. Like attracts like. It is a feel good and that's what you want. That's what you want. And even sometimes, I've, I remember a few times I would leave out and I'm like, Oh, I'm feeling this way. I'm not going to turn right back around. I'm like, you know what? Let me change clothes. Even if I don't feel it at that very moment when I put the dress on or whatever it is. After a while, it just is psychologically, I start feeling better. And I forget all about the doom and gloom. I'm getting compliments. I'm feeling light and airy. Everything is wonderful with the world. Do that as often as you can, as often as you see fit. Next. Number two, we are all good at something. We all have gifts. We are all uniquely made on purpose. It is our jobs to share our gifts with the world. And by the world, I don't necessarily mean on a big grandiose stage and in public and all that. It could actually be behind the scenes where you're pouring your gift into something or someone or an entity that is going to benefit the, the greater good. You understand? So do not sit on your gifts. It is your job to share your gifts. And when you're doing that, you're doing something for others. And that segues me into number three. When you're doing things for other people, it is a feel good for them. You make them feel good. And in turn, that makes you feel good. That even gives you more confidence. The more you serve people and the more that you give your gifts to people, that boosts confidence. You are leading with love and nothing beats that. Nothing beats that. It is so powerful. You are amazing and you have to know it. One day you will believe it. You just continue to do these steps and you have to trust the process and you have to be ready to do it. Okay, let me see. What is number four? I'm going to put my glasses on for number four. And I'm talking fast just so I can uh, make sure I don't run out of juice. The self-talk. Now, Muhammad Ali, what did he always say? I'm the greatest. I'm the great. People got sick and tired of hearing that. You know, the, the, the news people and the commentators. But by the same token, they were like, ooh, you know, like this guy, is he's cocky, he's arrogant, he's this. If no one else says it, who will? You don't have to shout it out like Muhammad Ali, but you can certainly think it. Whenever you think about something negative, oh, I'm not good at that, even if you literally have to say, cancel it, cancel that, do it, it works. 
cancel that and then immediately start thinking about something great about yourself if you can't think of anything like that right away then immediately start thinking about your favorite thing or whatever makes you happy the point is you want to keep the vibration high you want to keep the happiness juices flowing that's what you want to do it is all about enjoying your life life is easy it's easier than we make it and we just have to get out of our own way and we can't allow other people to get in our way either. Last but certainly not least, remove yourself from negative people. Now sometimes this can be difficult. First, we're going to talk about the people that we don't love and care about. Simple and easy. Friends that you might love, you might have to distance yourself. You have to. You cannot allow negative energy to seep into your world. You, you, ha you can't. You are in the process of transforming. By 2020, you will already have arrived. Okay? And you will be able to share what you learned with other people who are in trouble, who need you. You cannot let negative people be around you. In fact, if they're going to be around you, they're going to have to change. <laughs> that's, that's how it's supposed to go. Otherwise, if you can't change the people that you're with, then change the people that you're with, okay? Now, as far as the loved ones, the people that you have to interact with on a regular basis, you're going to have to re-strategize how you... First of all, I would limit certain conversations with them. I would change the subject. I would keep it very light. Sometimes, I hate to say it. Well, no, I don't hate to say it. Sometimes it might have to be superficial. How's the weather? Ooh, it's good weather. If they start going down that negative road, change the subject. Change the subject. Always throw some light. Not shade, not shade, but light. Always throw some light in the mix. Okay? And eventually they'll pick up on it. I've experienced that. They'll pick up on it and they'll, they'll switch it. Because there's no future in being negative. And a lot of people know this, but it's easy to pick the low-hanging fruit. Don't you be that person. Okay, now, leave comments. Ask me questions. I am on Instagram, Facebook. Links are in the bio. Feel free to ask away. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think if, if that's it. All, anything that I forgot, the link and the information is in the description. You guys, until the next video, you live simply and be kind. And I certainly hope this has helped. Please share this. Share this with anyone that you feel can use this information.